everyone. I am so sorry it's taken me so long to film this next video. I know most of you guys are in the Facebook group that I run. Um, and I'm sure you've seen my updates that my first ever granddaughter was born. And I was luckily enough, luckily enough, lucky enough um, to be there at the birth, which was a whole four days and a whole big stressful process. And obviously I've been with my daughter since. And we've had a really sort of nice bonding experience me and my daughter which has been wonderful um the sad thing to say is because I was in the hospital there I managed to catch covid and again that's what's taken me so long to come back to filming because I haven't been able to hear properly I was deaf for quite a while and um my right ear is still not perfect so I'm sorry if I'm too quiet on the video so I'm getting there I've really missed my crochet um I'm still super exhausted so I'm sleeping quite a lot but I don't think the heat's helping with that either um anyway enough about me on to our this is our final border border eight uh, I think the other reason it's taken me so long to film this one is because I don't want to do it um, back when I filmed all the other borders, I did actually complete this square and complete the border. Um, just to give it a go before I filmed it. And it never made any sense, the pattern. Um, I've just spent a good two hours now just trying to will it to work. I think I've just about got there. Um, I feel I've got the right amount of stitches um, that it requires us to have but it's just the placement of the stitches on the sides it's always very difficult when you haven't so because we've done these in in rows this square there's not any particular points here that are easy to identify of where you put your stitches which does make it more difficult and the photographs don't help that come with this either because you're supposed to do two stitches then a gap then three stitches but in the photos it looks like they've done the five stitches all in the same place which it literally doesn't make any sense at all um so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go into it and i hope you can just trust me um and we'll just do how i've managed to figure it out for now if anything comes up in the future that I've done it wrong then I might have to film another video but hopefully I think this is the way we're going to have to go for now and hopefully we won't have to change it but anyway we're starting before we start I will just say mine looks slightly different here can you see like there's a long line there a long line there and a long line there that is where I threaded one of my ends through. So your square might not look exactly like that. And if it doesn't, then don't worry. So we're starting just like we did with our last square. We want our square facing upright. And we want to join the yarn into the top right hand corner. So once you've done that, we need to chain two. So I'm going to pull the yarn through. And then I'm going to chain one and two. We're working in half trebles for this border. So we want to yarn over and then we're going into the same stitch and pulling up a loop. So we've got three loops on our hook, yarning over and pulling through all three and there's our first stitch done. From here, we are going to skip a stitch and do two half trebles into the stitch afterwards. And we're going to do that 10 times. So you can see our next stitch is this one here, which is the V, I'll try to cover that one up. So that's the one we're skipping. And then we're going into this one, which is the one beside it. So you want to skip one and do two half trebles into this one. So I'm going in here and I've done one and two and then repeat that we're skipping the next one and then going into this one one and back into the same stitch two again skip your next stitch and into the one after one and two and we're going to keep doing that pretty much all the way along we need to make sure 
that we do the two half trebles ten times. So ignore that first one that we did there. So we need to do ten afterwards. So it's we've got one, two and three so far. Skip your next stitch and into this one. So there's four complete. Skip your next stitch. There's five. Remember to skip your next stitch. Six, skip your next stitch. Seven, skip your next stitch. Eight, skip your next stitch. Nine, and then we need to do two more half triples. So we're skipping a stitch and then going into this one. So there's our 10 half trebles. After we, need, after we do that, we need to skip one stitch here and then we're going into the final corner. So we're going just in to this stitch here. We need to do three half trebles into that one. So we're skipping this one and going into the corner one. And we're doing one, two and three and then we need to chain two so that's fairly simple we've gone all the way along we've got the right amount of stitches this is where I get confused but we can work with it we can do it so it says two half trebles under the final stitch of the next row what does that mean final stitch of the next row well that's one row so I guess by next they mean this one because looking at our stitches that's a row that's a row you can see that you've almost got I'll turn it that way to make it easier that is two rows there and they're like about a thumb width I'd say you can see the difference there's almost like a line across and then you've got your line across there and it's the line that separates the two rows that you've got. So where we've got our first line going up this way, I'm going to go into that big hole at the end there for our first stitches. And we're going to do two half trebles in there. It then says to skip a row. So I've told you that this is the first half of one row, sorry, this is one row, and then this bit is the second row, so we're skipping this one, and so we're going straight down to this one here, which is again where you've got the line, and it'll go in exactly the same place as the one that we've just done, so just in here, and then we're doing three half trebles, so one, two, three so from here the book says we're supposed to just go on to the next row if we go straight on to the next row we don't have enough stitches so I'm going to skip a row between every one so I'm going back to finding where my line is my line is here so I'm going into this hole here and I'm then going to do two again so one and two I'm going to skip one again, find my line which is here and then go into that one and do three again. So one, two and three. We need to do five sets of these, so five sets of the two and three. So we've done one set here and there's two and we need to do that five times. So find your line and we're going into that stitch here, we're doing two again, 
so one and two find your line and then we're doing three one two and three got my line here I'm going in this one for two one and two and the next one I'm doing three one two and three so how many have we done so far we've done one two three and four so we just need to do one more set of those so find your line and in here we're doing two so one and two and then find my line there again and into this one I am doing three one two and three now the reason I said I didn't feel like that was completely exact even though we're near the end is I still feel like there's a row beneath that one and you know there's just a bit of a gap so we're not finishing completely at the end so that's why I don't feel that it's 100% right as well as the fact that we've skipped a row between every sort of bunch of stitches that we did when you're only supposed to skip them um, after the two so you're supposed to go two skip a row three stitches two skip a row three stitches and it was ending up finishing like here so there was like all this room on the end and it just didn't make any sense at all so that is how I've managed to do it I hope you're okay with that um all I think I can do is just take it up with Hachette again and, and see what they say so we're moving on to the bottom edge we are chaining two and then we need to do two half trebles between the next two stitches so we want to ignore this thin line on the top we're not using that one we are going for these here you can see these like two lines going down and they're all stitches and you can see the gaps in between we're going to be focused on going in between these gaps in between them so it says that we want to do two half trebles between the next two stitches. So if we count this one as our first stitch and this one as our second stitch, we are going to be going in here in between them. That's what it's asking us to do. So we're going in here and doing one half treble and two half treble. And then we are going to do exactly like we did on the last one. This would count as our next stitch, but we're skipping that one. And then we're going into the next gap that we've got. So we're not going in through this one. We're going in through this one instead. So I've yarned over. We're going in here and we're doing two again. Are we doing two again? No, we're doing three. Sorry. One, two, and three. And just like the top edge, we are doing that... 10 times so we've done we don't count that one we're doing it 10 times we've done it once and then we are going to again skip the next gap and then go to the one after so we're not going into this one here we're going in the one after so yarn over and then one two and three skip one into the next one oh, I've got hair sorry two and three skip one into the next one two and three skip one into the next one, two, and three. Skip one into the next one, two, and three. Then skip one into the next one, two, 
and three, and the same again, one, two, and three, and again, one, two, three. I'm just going to pause here because I just want to count how many I've done. So we ignored the end one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've just got one more to do. So I'm skipping that one, going into this one. And one, two, and three. From here, we are skipping this one and we're going into the next and doing another three half trebles. So one, two, and three. We're following exactly the same pattern for the next side as well. So we're chaining two. And then we are going to find, sorry, I'm getting all tangled up here. We are going to go into, right, so yarn over. And what we want to do again is to find our line. If you can remember, it's got the line going down here and we're going into that gap there. So we're going in here and we are doing two. So one and two. And then we are going to skip to find our line again, just here. And then that one, we're going to do three. So one, two, and three. Exactly the same, find your line and do two. And then in the next one, find your line and do three, one, two, and three, find your line, one and two, find my line and do three, one, two and three, and then two again, one, two, Find my line here and do one, two, and three. Next one is two, one, and two. And then find my line for the last one, one, two, and three. I'm just going to go back and count and make sure that I've got enough. So I've got one, two, three, four, and five. So that's that all finished. To finish off, we just need to chain two, one, and two. And then we are joining with a slip stitch into the top of our second chain. Well, those are our chains that we made. So we just want to go into the top one. And then we're finishing off with a slip stitch. And if I wasn't so tangled up, I could show you. And there is our border eight complete. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you've enjoyed all the borders. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get to the last one. Life just got in the way with the summer holidays, I'm afraid. Um, but I should be back and, well, I'm, I'm not gonna jinx it again because I do keep saying I'll be around and then disappearing again. So um, just remember to subscribe to the channel if you'd like the notifications so when the next video is released. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.